Good day everyone, in this video we're going to learn about the levels of measurement. Before anything else, let's have a short discussion of what levels of measurement are. Aside from the various rules of variables, a researcher also needs to become familiar with the various levels of measurement. These levels of measurement allow researchers to identify the type of variables that are present in the research. This is important because knowing the variables involved as well as their levels of measurement allows for accurate designing of instruments. Now at this point we're going to talk about the different levels of measurement. We have four levels of measurement. First, we have the nominal level of measurement, the ordinal level of measurement, interval level of measurement, and ratio level of measurement. It is worth noting that both nominal and ordinal would focus on qualitative data, whereas interval and ratio level of measurement would focus on quantitative data. At this point, let's focus on the nominal level of measurement. The nominal level of measurement serves as a form of categorizing variables in a study. It denotes a qualitative attribute of the variable. Also, in this level of measurement, words, letters, and alphanumeric symbols can be used. Let's have this for example. Gender is a qualitative data which can be represented by the letters F for female and M for male. Since this is in the nominal level of measurement, we're simply going to categorize how many respondents are female and how many respondents are male. Now it is worth noting that in the nominal level of measurement, we could also use words, letters, and alphanumeric symbols. Thus, we could replace F and M with the numbers 1 and 2. Signifying that if a participant is number 1, it means that the participant is a female. And if the participant is number 2, it means that the participant is a male. The same thing can be applied for the strand or track of senior high school students. Since there are different strands or tracks, we're simply going to categorize the students according to their strands. Now at this point, we're going to focus on the ordinal level of measurements. The ordinal level of measurements refers to the order or rank of a measurement. It is usually used to measure non-numerical concepts such as satisfaction level or levels of agreement or disagreement. Also, the ordinal scales allow comparisons of the degree to which two subjects possess the dependent variable. Let's have this example on satisfaction levels. The question is, how satisfied are you with our service? Now since satisfaction level is considered to be a qualitative data, it is considered to be non-numerical. Hence, we cannot technically measure the satisfaction levels of an individual. As such, we have different terms such as highly dissatisfied, dissatisfied, somewhat satisfied, satisfied, and highly satisfied. Take note that each particular term is different in terms of the degree, meaning to say that highly satisfied is lower than dissatisfied, and someone who answers satisfied has a higher answer than someone who answers somewhat dissatisfied. Take note that if we are going to assign values to these particular terms, we could have 1 for highly dissatisfied, 2 for dissatisfied, 3 for somewhat satisfied, 4 for satisfied, and 5 for highly satisfied. Remember that even if we have these numeric values, it doesn't mean that this would be the actual value for the level or satisfaction that a respondent might have. Next, we have the interval level of measurement. These are numerical scales with known exact value differences. The interval level of measurement does not have a true zero-point value. Also, the interval level of measurement specifies that distances between each interval on the scale are equivalent along the scale from low interval to high interval, hence we have the term exact value differences, meaning there is an exact value between different intervals. Let's have the example on academic ranking. The question is, what is your academic ranking? 
Take note that in order to recognize the academic ranking of an individual, he or she must fall into a certain range of grade. For example, if a person's grade would range from 85 to 89, his ranking may be classified to be with honors. If he goes higher, say for example 90 to 94, he could be classified to have the rank of with high honors. Furthermore, if a person would have a grade of 95 to 99, he can be classified to have the rank of with highest honors. Take note that for each particular level, we have the interval of 5 points. Hence, this is an example of an interval level of measurement. And lastly, we have the ratio level of measurement. These variables have properties of nominal, ordinal, and interval scales. Like a nominal scale, it provides a name or category for each object. Like an ordinal scale, the objects are ordered. And like an interval scale, the same difference at two places on the scale has the same meaning. It can also establish the value of absolute zero unlike the interval level of measurement that does not recognize the point value of zero. Let's have this example. The number of children in a family. The question is, how many children are in your family? This is an example of a racial level of measurement because a family that answers zero would actually mean that there are no children in the family. Of course, a family that answers that there is one child would be on a higher level and a family that answers three children would be higher than a family that has only one child. In terms of the interval level of measurement, the families can be grouped according to the family size. If a family would have 0 to 2 children, they can be considered to have a small family. If they have 3 to 5 children, they can be recognized to have a medium-sized family. If a, if a family would have 6 or more children, they could be considered to have a large family. Hence, we could also rank the family in terms of the number of children as well as the family size. Before we end the discussion, let's have a short recap. The nominal level of measurement is used for categorizing data or variables in a study. It is also worth noting that the nominal level of measurement has no numeric value. The ordinal level of measurement is used for ranking of measurements as well as sorting variables according to hierarchy. The interval level of measurements recognizes numerical scales with known exact value differences. Also, the interval level of measurement has no absolute zero value. The racial level of measurement have properties of nominal, ordinal, and interval scales. Furthermore, unlike the interval level of measurement, the racial level of measurement has absolute zero value. In a nutshell, in quantitative research, it is important to become aware with the different levels of measurements. These levels of measurements will help researchers to know how to design research instruments in accordance to the variables involved in the study. Knowing about the various levels of measurement also helps researchers identify the appropriate statistical treatment to use in interpreting these data.